Pinkington. Yeah, he's my good buddy, good friend. Because he found me and he adopted me. For the fifth thing, I like to spin in circles. Time to go. Bye. Welcome back, everyone, to the nightmare. That is Doom 64 EX, but the dreamy voice that is Tyron King 10. From where we last left off, we finished the first secret level and got our first artifact key and now let's begin in the tech center this is probably perhaps one of my most memorable st stages that i remember playing because it's so like diverse in which direction you want to go of course you still have to uh find the keys and whatnot to progress mainly throughout the level but uh yeah it's just the multiple path kind of aspect that kind of you know drives it up a little higher. Gotta adjust my bass every now and then. It's always either too loud or too low. Hell night in such close proximity, but I just absolutely love just unloading every single pellet that a shotgun can use to destroy such hell spawn. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have plenty of ammo for this, and not enough for Mr. Shotgun, so I'm gonna give this guy some love a little bit. Unless it's specters, like that. Ah, you almost think- you almost thought I was gonna call these guys banshees like I rather did rather often in previous games. I'll find a way to call them banshees again, don't you worry. The main reason why I don't- generally like using the chain gun is the shaking of the screen kind of gets a little distracting even more so if you're trying to watch it on a video so I'll try not to use it too too often but then again I do have bullets to use and if I don't use these bullets then well I'm limiting myself of some tasty ammo if I can attract a certain enemy around here there we go get out of there and Kablooey. No, you don't. Go away. Alright, so. Tech Center. Tech Center, Tech Center. Yeah, pretty much just uh, questing throughout your ways, finding switches to open up even more switches until eventually you start finding the keys. It's kind of long if you want to put it that way. It's also kind of fun in a way that uh, each path throws you a little curveball. Either a little curvy or a little faster, or or the mix between the two, and, and with a little more jumpy action too. And why don't we use the mighty pistol thou? Just because my switching of the weapons kind of always fails me. So, easy secret is easy. You see this mega armor? You see this ventilation shaft? There you go. I'm not gonna grab that mega armor just yet. Down here is kind of not needed but it is for who it kind of is if you want to grab some a go away some goodies because if you die in any doom game for those who are new to the game uh when you die you lose everything that you had your backpack all your weapons all your ammo and you start off with the inky dinky little pistol again so yeah if you somehow die on this level which you know It'll happen if it's your first time playing Doom on the hardest difficulty. Uh, yeah. Here's all the good stuff. And if you're strafe running like me, it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. And, uh, just for good measure, I'm on the chainsaw, so there we go. Now, I do believe that the yellow key is now accessible, which it is. Sweet googly moogly. Go away. Now then, let's continue on. Through the legendary yellow door. And now, last time, I don't think I found my way into that supercharge, which I'm going to try my best to exactly figure out how to get that supercharge. Uh, might take a little time for exploring, but I'll eventually get it. Door open up in the distance. It's always good. Maybe I have to shoot something. Maybe that's what I didn't find before. But anyways, this path opened up. Nope. 
Nothing over here, George. A, go away. Barrels. And jumpers. Nyeh. Berserk. Now I'm gonna have fun with this. Just, just to spice, just to liveling up a little bit. Okay, fine. Oh, come on. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm more skilled than this. And that only did seven points of damage to me? Okay, that was extremely sloppy. <laughs> extremely sloppy indeed. But oh well, I'm having fun. You can't stop me! Okay, fine, you can. Only because I have no armor. Well, almost-ish no armor. Alright, go away. Alright, one more time. And if I can't do this and I... Oh, I can't go to fist. How sad. He did it again! As soon as I come out, he does it! These demons are getting wiser, my friend. Alright, we gotta go back for a switch. Which... Is that anything? Is that... No, okay, whatever. Wasting time. No, you don't. Oh, right. Gotta go back out here. And... Lost Soul. Yeah, vivid memories. They're not, uh... They're not pleasant, depending on what it is that you remember. And I believe if you go out here, you get a Crusher! Which would take these zombies out pretty damn nicely. But of course, I think my weapon drop has been pretty much it went to hell, so yay for that, I suppose. Go get crushed for all I care. Oh, squishy now. Whoa! Close quarters, hell knight. Close quarters, Kako. No, spank you. Alright, now that that's done with, I don't believe we need to go back out here for any particular reason, except to preemptively attack a Kako Demon. No, what we need to come back out here for is, uh, oh yeah, the red key is now accessible. I just gotta spin around in circles a couple times, and no! Go away. Might as well get those guys out of the way while I'm at it. It's this door. No, it's, uh, sir, I am completely lost. Right, I have the yellow key for a reason. Get me up there! Oh, please! There are things chasing me and I can't even see them! I've gone crazy! You spawned out of nowhere! Oh, no, 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 I wanna squish him! Please! Oh! <laughs> and this day, Tyrant King was sad. Ow. Whoa! Alright, so... We got a crusher, but if you perfectly position yourself, you won't get hurt. Unless you're also fast enough, which you can get the blue key and get the heck out of there! Which is good enough, and I believe one of these open up or something? Ooh. Aha! More rockets. Rocket wanchas are good for me. All right. I would very much like the uh, supercharge. Cause uh, yeah, having health is kind of fun-ish. Now then, what do we need to do here? Is that teleporter does not want to teleport us unless we activate the switch. And you see. Now it raises up, so now we gotta go fast enough. And... Voila! All these rockets? Fine! We'll use the rocket launcher at our advantage! But first a Hell Knight. Very easily taken care of. Just definitely make sure you don't blast yourself in the face with it. You know... It, it, it helps if you don't friendly fire yourself. Can you do that? Friendly fire yourself? But it's kind of... What? Does that make any sense? I, I don't know if it does. What? 
I swear I grabbed that rocket launcher like half a dozen times already. But oh well. This is what demons get for ruining my latest Thanksgiving. You know, I did- Ow! I didn't mean to do that! Okay, um, super shotgun, go. This is when things get interesting, is when I start to lose. But yeah, they did ruin last Thanksgiving. Cause, uh, Hell Knights eat all the damn turkey. Hey! Don't shoot the barrel behind me to explode and do splash damage to me. I'm the only one who's supposed to do that kind of stuff. I'm running out of shotgun shells. It's because I've been using it for everything. Am I still using it? Yes, I am. Now then. I have a really edgy feeling that I might have to look for something odd. Something misplaced or something like that in order to grab my supercharge. Since all the monsters have been taken care of, I can very well grab my armor. But grabbing my supercharge now will be meaning I will be missing out 51 HP. So is there any health that I kind of left around here? Should be, because I left quite a lot of health scattered about, but I also don't want to waste a lot of time. So... Hmm. New. I do believe I left health up more. Oh, oh yes. Stim pack's nice. Could use a med kit. Could use a box of bullets. Oh, why didn't I check out this place? I completely forgot about this place, and now I can use Mr. Rocket Watcher. I have no idea why I completely skipped this place. Skipping this place is not good. Because, uh, yeah. Stim pack up there, feeling too lazy to go grab it. So. Okay, now, um. Mr. Supercharge, how in the world do you get lowered down? Hmm. Let's see now. Is this something I gotta... Hmm. Something suspicious about these vents just randomly placed around here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, so... Don't worry if my guy is humping the wall. He, he does that occasionally. It's not his fault for being lonely. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! What the heck? Haha! <laughs> That's how you get the supercharge! Woohoo! Okay, so what am I going to do is that I'm going to cut it off, getting me health, and. Well, never mind. I'll, ju I'll just. Okay, never mind. I am going to get my supercharge now, and we're going to call it a level! So, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I found this supercharge, though I do believe that I might be missing out on another secret or two, which would be kind of sad, but oh well. Like I said before, I am not looking for every single, every single secret, so let's continue on into our next level, which uh, we are almost coming to a close to the uh, human levels, per se. Ooh, I found all the secrets. Yes. Alpha Quadrant. Now, I don't believe there's any secrets around here, but I am dangerously running out of shotgun ammo. Now, also, I do believe this is where we meet a very nasty upgrade of an enemy around here. So, do mind yourself to take note. I don't think I disturbed him just yet. There he is, the Baron of Hell. Now, the different now there is something different about this version of Doom is that Barons of Hells and Hell Knights can actually start fighting each other. Which is very interesting, because if I can start making them fight, if they stop walking around in circles like idiots, I can make them start fighting and it'll definitely weaken the Baron of Hell, because there's no way a Hell Knight's losing to a... Uh, there's definitely no reason for a Baron of Hell to lose to a Hell Knight. Come on, fight each other, damn it! 
That cacodemon's getting annoying. Go away! Alright, now as soon as I get these guys to start fighting, I can actually progress on a little bit. Come on, start fighting already! Thank you for bejesus sakes. Now while they're duking out, you can see that there's a door opening up as soon as you go up to the elevator. But if you go here, you can access a little secret passage for a, basically an ammo route. Oh, totally thought zombies would be around that corner. Jeez, oh, never mind. I have shotgun ammo. Holy moly! Ammo now. No, go die, please. Run back! Hell Knights. Definitely not recommended to fight in that circle. Alrighty then. And as soon as we kill these guys, we actually get some rewards. And we actually get access to a secret, which I do believe I found in my previous playthrough of this game. Which, um, if you run in a certain way around here, a section of that wall opens up. Yep, I just heard it. So, yep, there it is. So let me do that again. And go down here. No! Get on my face! Holy! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Mega Sphere. That is probably perhaps one of the most useful power ups you can get in the game. Unlike the invincibility and partial invisibility, which are temporary uh, power ups in the game. You can act, uh, Megasphere, act like a supercharge and a Megasphere. And unlike a, su uh, unlike a supercharge, which it only boosts up your health by 100, meaning you could have lower than 200, it completely makes your health to 200. So it's basically, it's kind of like a max thing. So I'm gonna let these guys do a little more damage to each other before I start wasting ammo. So, all right. Whoa! Ow, okay, I eat my words. <laughs> but that was, of course, an assisted kill. So, Mr. Hell Knight is still pretty low on the rankings list. You know, Hell... Barons of Hells and Hell Knights duke each other out on Xbox Live. It's just a little fun trivia there. What do they duke out in Xbox Live? Uh, probably Call, uh, Call of Duty or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't hang out with Hell Knights or Barons of Hells. They don't quite like me, to be honest. Maybe they like you. Do you like hanging out with Hell Knights and Barons of Hells? Do they treat you nice? And if you invite them for Thanksgiving, do they eat all your turkey? Because they certainly eat all mine. What just spawned? I'm not going back out to find out. <gasps> the souls never find a ground for myself! <laughs> Go back down, please. Thank you. Screw you! Screw you! Now that hell Baron of Hell obviously won that match, so he's definitely weakened. Hmm. A. There should be another Hell Knight in here, I do believe. Yeah, there is. Now, there's really no point on making these two fight. Because, uh, I think a Baron of Hell can just tank two Hell Knights. I really do think. I definitely know they can't tank three Hell Knights. But two, possibly. Just, it just matters if the Hell Knight actually gets enough fireballs or scratches it into matter. So, yeah. So with this section, we push multiple switches, which turn, which transforms the platform into a curve and whatever, which acts us to the next switch and throws off into where we need to go. And that's kind of cheap because I need to cross the platform in a specific amount of time. And these nightmare imps certainly don't help with that aspect. And neither does a burn of hell. Don't shoot the ground, please. Thank you very much. Now then. Go squish! Yay! At least that imp may be happy. Yeah. Now, the next section is actually kind of... Uh, 
I don't know, guess intimidating or spooky for the first player. But what we're about to come up next is a very convoluted system of if you fall in this pit, you can kiss your bum goodbye. You hear all the specters? Oh yeah. Basically this is a a helling a hell run that oh no go away a hell run across platforms and if you fall well have a nice time in literal dark hell so let me get off that platform because that really does take a long time so let me just get these guys done and over with go away please nobody likes you except people who do then no also, it's not a very wise idea to use rocket long rockets against pain elementals because uh, sometimes the lost soul will go straight towards you and guess what? Splash damage still does hurt you if you're that close. Now, if I do go down there, I can fight a hell load of specters, but it kind of makes no real difference uh, except for kill count. But there are kind of items to find and whatnot, so yeah. Now, the way to get back is to jump through this. Well, you don't have to jump through this. Uh, you can go back out here and go up a very narrow staircase, which if you do fall down the black hell. So you can go over here and go through the teleport to get back over here, which the door will open for you. But we are a secret hunter, and I do believe that we need the platform lowered in order to jump in here. Yay, we made it on our first attempt. And that activates a switch. I don't know if this is... Oh, hi. Um, I am getting out of here, if you don't mind me. So, yeah, I went to the black cow. I don't know how that's going to turn out in YouTube standards. But holy moly, I got to do that again. Fungus. Lots of fungus. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. It's rel relatively easy. So all you have to do is wait for the platform to go back down and jump. And you gotta jump at a certain angle. You can't just directly jump straight at it. You'll hit the wall and you won't get enough momentum. Ow! Hey! My face! It's beautiful. I know. But it doesn't mean you have to gnaw on it. Bad doggies. No. Bad! I give you enough treats as it is. Go away. Might as well grab that for the hell of it. Now I do believe by activating that switch, it allows us to access the mega armor. Don't quote me on that. I believe. I believe the door to the Mega Armor is now open. Yes, it is! So, we'll save that once we're done this level. And, um, do I really want to mess with the Spectres? Nah, kind of spent enough time as it is. But wait, where am I going exactly? I need the blue key. Did I miss the blue key? Yeah, I did. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I am clearly not paying attention to what I am doing. I am so focused on mega armor and and talking about shenanigans of dark hells and whatever that I completely forgot of what to do. Typical me, but oh well. Oh my goodness, I didn't know I could spam out that switch. It's probably gonna glitch up the game like, oh, I can't take it, oh, destroyed. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off when I get to the point of when I'm done this level so I can grab that mega armor so I don't have to waste enough time. And this episode's about to come to close, so yeah. Um, better be using much bigger ammo. Go away. Please and thank you. Saying please and thank you to Hellspawn is actually a very effective ways of getting rid of said Hellspawn. Um, I don't believe I know of any more secrets. I really don't. So, I will, well, 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 well. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to show off the next screen anyways. So I'll see you in a second. All right, people, I am back. We have our mega armor and now we're going to show off the teaser of the next level. Yeah, I can kill, go kill Spectre. Whoa, okay. For some reason that items thinks it's kind of wrong, I think. So yeah, entering research lab. Now, what I was saying before is that I hope that the 
new weapon was going to appear in the last level, but obviously not. I think it's, I believe it's this one. So people, I hope each and every one of you have a splendid day as much as I did playing this game, playing this episode, playing for it. You get it. Shut up. I don't, shut up. Uh, question of the view will be in the description. Have a fantastic doom day. Peace.